we found out this morning that Sky is going to bring in her wedding dress 20 years later. So weird. Try it on live on the air tomorrow morning. Ugh. We are very excited about this. I am I am slowly regretting opening my mouth and saying that, yes, I still have my dress. <laughs> Percentage in your mind of chance it'll fit. Zero. I said in her mind. Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow, she just flipped off Thor. Yeah. I know, I know. One percent to Thor. Oh, and then, Scott, it's a um, long finger. Thank you. <laughs> a little yeah. bony. Uh, <laughs> um, I give myself a 85% chance that it still fits. That's high. Wait, 85? Did you, uh, this is an honest question. Uh-oh. Did you have small titties back then? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Because oh, what's a creepy? What kind why of is that creepy? Is that? Why know. is that creepy? What kind of question you, is that? It's a, <laughs> because because the, they I feel like they're bigger now than they were then. They're bigger than they have been in a while. After pregnancy, they did grow. grow that's what I'm, so I it's feel okay. like that's a fair a question. Okay, I've, I keep a chart of oh. your breast size. <laughs> yeah, for twenty I, years. I, really? I, yeah. I would not say I had small titties. Thank you for asking. Um, I believe maybe a little less than they are now. But I so I, you may come out. You may flow out of the top. Mm. A yeah, bit. there may be that's awesome. a, a little, you know. Cleavy? Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's How not was the ass dress. back then? Ooh. Same. Same. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like back so, leg. Yeah, honestly, yeah. it may fit. Faster. It may fit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you would imagine, you know, with who we know is the boo, that that dress may have some boo juice all over oh, it. Oh, right? yeah. Don't talk. Come oh, on. Oh, but you would be wrong. We ain't done yet. It's time for the P1 Podcast. Fun's not over yet. Completely uncensored and un filtered. Except for that part. Looking for the after party with nowhere. The show's after show starts now. Oh no, there was no boo juice. No boo juice allowed. On oh, the sky's what? wedding night. You know, that guy, the reason why he married her was for the wedding night. Let's be honest. Right? <laughs> For sex? Yes. To have unlimited sex? For, with you? Yes, yes. For some reason, he is addicted to your vagina. Addicted. He loved that pussy. Yeah, I got crack pussy. <laughs> Seriously, for him, it's uh, no joke. Yeah. Like, that guy always wants to have sex with you. Yeah, he's So, wedding night, lot. that's the that's the shot right there, right? Yeah. You're supposed to have sex all night long uh, yeah. on your wedding night. Yeah, probably like crazy sex, too. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. You, you gotta know? amp it up. Yeah. But Sky did not have sex with the boo- on their wedding night. No. I don't feel like that's possible. I, well, it's crazy. It's Sky, though. Yeah, but I wouldn't think... True, and she but wears, it's the boo. She, but mm-hmm. she wears the pants. But the boo, when it comes to sex, mm-hmm. he's not messing around. Yeah. He, that guy's got to get fucked. That's the okay? one, yeah. Like, he gotta he's get like his Ted Bundy. Dick <laughs> wet. He got to get his dick wet. <laughs> yeah, that's the topic. He doesn't seem like that kind of a guy. No. no. I, don't like, know. I don't know him very well at all, but that, to me, from what I know, is... That's the only thing he puts his foot down about. Exactly. Right? That's what I was going to say. That's the cock o- down. only thing he puts, yeah. The only thing he gets upset about, gets pissy about is, yeah, sex. Yeah. He's got to get that sky fix. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, at the time, though, was he working back then? Yeah. So I feel like he, maybe he wasn't as uh, into fucking because he was working. Oh, you'd be wrong. <laughs> he's always wrong. wanted yeah. that sky pussy. He's always yes, wanted yes. that pussy. Uh, he's yeah. always had very high T in my diagnosis. <laughs> high T. Very high T. Like, huh. uh, like he has some to share, like off the charts. Wow. Yeah, like, That's a plump pussy right there. There right? it is. Like he's <laughs> Beat it up. He what? seriously <laughs> has fought me on the last 10 years about getting a vasectomy because he's so scared that it will affect his sex drive because he feels his sex drive is so special that he still has such wow. a strong sex drive at this age. Is it the cargo Science, sh- man. Is it the cargo shorts, the V-necks? What is it? It must be the cargo shorts. It lets <laughs> the boys breathe or oh, something. No. Something's That's going on. Honestly, in there. one of the stupidest things I've ever heard in my life. But I digress. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, there's no science involved no, in that at all. Zero. No. No, no, but that's what he believes. So what happened on the wedding night where he didn't get it? Um, Well, here's the thing. When you're in your early 20s, and that's when we got married, you know, uh, you don't really get how life works yet. Sometimes you think life is still like a rom-com and things are, you're supposed to do things like you do them in the movies, okay? So since we got married so young, I was the first one of my friends to ever get married, to even get close, like probably my next closest friend got married Five years later. Oh, yeah, you were 21. Yeah. Yeah. I was super young. Both Very of us young. Were. Even really 24 crazy. is really young for yeah. five years later. 20, 
26, yeah, sorry. That's math what I'm saying. Math. Yeah, it's <laughs> math is not Hey, I, I corrected myself. Oh, that okay. was scary. <laughs> I corrected I myself. She's 21. Five years later, 24. <laughs> like, I she's 30 years old. That's so crazy. Uh, how does that work? I don't know. She was 16. <laughs> Wait, why are you went backwards? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I, I know. said 26. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> so, yeah. So, since I didn't have any friends that had been married, I hadn't actually been to a wedding since I was like a little girl. I honestly, my wealth of knowledge came from the movies. So, clearly, what you do when you get married, guys, is you have a wedding. And then, straight from the wedding, you go to the airport to then catch your red eye flight to go to your honeymoon. You didn't run this by your mom or anybody? But you you get into the car with the cans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they drive you straight to the airport? Yeah, yes. the, the people are throwing rice, right? right? Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. No, exactly. That's what happened? Yeah. I'm, I'm serious, Emily. We had a limo, and it said written on it, just married. Yeah. And this is when we were in Northern California. So we... What are you, Sandra Bullock? <laughs> yeah. I've seen Father of the Bride. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> I, seriously, that's like my, that's my knowledge. That, that's what I thought everybody did. You didn't talk to did. your parents about this. Dude, my parents, I mean, last time they got married, it was like the early 70s. There were like, no planes, apparently. Yeah. I think, I think... They took the Wright brothers' <laughs> flight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Their honeymoon destination. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think they drove to their honeymoon. I don't even know. But um, so, yeah, so we left from San Jose in the Silicon Valley in our limo with Just Married, and we drove <laughs> up to San Francisco oh to catch a God. flight. Isn't that a long drive? Out of San yeah, Francisco. Like 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know why I thought it was a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> right. And like any respectable married company, you, uh, married couple, you have to stop at a couple beaches along the way and smoke some weed, you know? What? And then we eventually <laughs> get to. Uh, in the limo? <laughs> <laughs> well, outside of the limo, you tell yeah, the limo yeah. driver, oh, hey, pull, pull over. over, we want to go to look you at this romantic spot. You weren't getting after it in the back of the limo, though. There I feel it like, is. Yeah. I feel like if I was getting, dri- right after my wedding, we're leaving, we're going on a plane, all right, it's a little weird that we scheduled this fight, but we're going to get after it oh, in yeah. the back of the limo. Oh, yeah. Roll the window up, I'm s- going to drill my bride. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've seen that go. porn. Yeah. You guys yeah. think Paranoid Sky oh, is going fuck. to do any sort of PDA. We always forget, we always it. forget it's Sky. Do you know how many cameras <laughs> were probably in the back oh, of that limo the, prior to web cameras? In, in 2000? Yes, in no, the year Sky. 2000. Okay, Sky. Oh, please. <laughs> there was no cameras There's no back cameras. then. There's probably like a full tripod with a VHS camera. It's, yeah, like, oh, it's like camoed into the what? limo somewhere. What the fuck are you talking about? Anyway, so no, there was no hanky, hanky panky as you described uh, in the limo. You didn't make the whoopee. No whoopee making at all. And so you went and you got right on your flight and flew to Jamaica? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so we had a sweet layover in Miami. And oh, I, there you go. Airport yeah. fucking. No, no. Just, just a little oink, oink. But now you're full hooga. Hooga. Yeah. No. Hooga, hooga. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking hot, bro. No, there was no uh, airport fucking. There was no. airport puking. Uh, what? Yeah, somebody had he drank. He fucked you that hard? <laughs> <laughs> somebody had drank a little too much. On and the then flight? No, prior to the flight. What at the hell? The, it's like a five-hour flight. At the wedding. Yeah, so. For, well, you couldn't recover in five hours? <laughs> from San Francisco. It's like to, six hours. From San Francisco to Miami. Yeah, I pass. I legit, my only time in first class, I pass out and I wake up when we land. So I slept through the whole first class. I wake up and then after you've been drinking all night and you wake up, what happens? You fucking throw up everywhere. And so that's what I did. This and, is the most least unsexy honeymoon I've ever so heard much. in my life or yeah. wedding yeah. night coming. I would get remarried because it's so terrible <laughs> yeah. so, so we're now we're now at the next morning you know we've the night's already passed from the wedding we're yeah. now at the next morning mm-hmm. and then from the Miami airport we still have another eight hours of a small plane to Jamaica going through customs getting on some fucking weird bus where they give everybody red stripes this is the worst thing I've ever heard <laughs> yeah, yeah so, horrible I hate this yeah so at the time we actually got <laughs> check in, checked into our hotel it's now the night after, but I'm still fucking exhausted and oh go God. straight to bed. What? Straight to bed. Two days? So we had some sweet oh. morning sex two days after That's we That's when were you married. consummated Mornings. the marriage? Yeah, yeah. Two yeah. days after and it was morning sex? Yeah. I'm not a morning sex guy. Oh. No, no. no. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry That's that so sky, though. <laughs> that is so sky. It really, it really is. It really is. That's brutal. It's the worst thing I've heard. Yeah. No, I, I was hand-boned at my wedding. So yeah. I remember my wedding. Yes, you were. We all, well, we all got after it. It was open bar. That was one thing that I cared about. I, I want to have an open bar because yeah. I want everybody to have fun. Wow. And so we paid for an open bar. Everybody got... Wasted, I of just, course. I just passed out. It was a lot of money. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, uh, and of course, I did, too. 
And because we were having a great time, it was a great wedding. We had a great reception, great DJ, everybody's dancing. Rob Bass, it takes two with playing. Oh, Rob yeah. Bass, fuck How yeah, many dude. times did it play at your I wedding? I asked for it three times. Three well, times? Well, well, I asked for it twice, and then B Dub asked for it once. <laughs> the two, yeah. If somehow it's both of their it's our favorite, favorite song songs. of all time. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. all time. Hello, yeah. hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Speed up. hello. Yeah. What? That's him. That's him asking the DJ to play Rob. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what? What? Play what? <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Oh, wow. there it goes. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I was pretty blitzed by the time the honey or the uh, night after happened, and we our reception was at the Bahia. So we actually got a room mm. right there. Oh, so we, we you didn't get party. a flight immediately no, after. No, I'm not a fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> no, I knew I wanted to fuck my wife okay. and uh, and sleep good. Yeah. And then the next day we okay. flew out for our honeymoon. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, that's how that's how we we roll. So you did it the next day. Actually, I think we took a day off to go home and like bring all of our stuff, which and, honestly makes more sense. And too. then the next the following yeah. day we went on the honeymoon. Well, so you recover like, a little bit, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. and because I was hungover from my wedding. Yeah, yeah so you didn't want to throw like up that. at an airport. Well, no, that's, <laughs> that's moronic. You don't want to wake up to the smell of orange pecan muffins being baked in first class and just have to throw up that everywhere. Sounds that sounds <laughs> yeah. fucking that's great. So bad. Dude. I'd give anything for I that. I could never <laughs> smell that smell again. <laughs> really? Never. Oh, orange pecan? No, no. Didn't okay. even have a muffin. Uh, so I'm, I'm blitzed. And I know, though, I got to come through here oh. because it's my wedding night. The wife got special white lingerie. Ooh. At the because uh, she's a virgin, you guys. She what? Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, they waited. They you waited. Did. Yeah. Wait, you were yeah. a virgin too, Eddie. Me, me too. <laughs> Eddie got special white undies as yeah. well. Yeah. White <laughs> <Okay. A> million <laughs> percent. Did they have groom written on them in I'm, red? I'm like a Saudi Arabian prince wow. where I can only marry a virgin. That's true. Yeah. So yeah. Huh. wow, don't fucking around with me. This is wild. <laughs> it was man. wild. Uh, but I think for like the bridal shower, she got yes. white lingerie and she saved it for the wedding night. And so she comes out looking smoking hot, but I'm drunk uh -oh. so whiskey dick shit's not working oh, i'm like, in there bro uh oh uh -oh. oh i gotta like bat it around a little bit <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you're beating it up yeah, are gotta, you trying to pump it i up? know i gotta perform here man uh -oh. Uh -oh. don't get in your head so oh, luckily no. enough the, it starts to work okay. <laughs> take care of business Whew. great once isn't enough though because it's wedding night she oh. wants to go again no what? come on that's insane i'm, I'm Ready to pass out. Yeah. I drank all night. Dancing. I, I had to punch my dick to get it to work. I'm fucking done, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, you want to go again? Yeah, let it go, but Deborah. I can't disappoint my new bride. Oh, I would have. Oh, it was fucking tough, man. So twice, oh, that's too much. In well, that one night, that's I had to perform. Crazy. Which is ridiculous. Wow. Now, Emily, you have been engaged for uh, going on a decade now. Mm. I mean, not quite. Going on a decade now. It's oh been nine years. I mean, nine years is one year away from a decade, yes. Emily. Again, we don't do math on the approaching, show. Approaching, maybe approaching a decade. Going on a decade. <laughs> what did you say you get wrong? engaged? I don't know. Uh, she I don't know. She's not no, quite I sure. I don't know. Yeah. I have to look back on that. Well, you only remember important <laughs> dates, Thor. So, you know, why would she ever remember that? <laughs> it was the day after my birthday. Which birthday? Uh, <laughs> don't know. I don't know. So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you ever do get married... Mm -hmm. Oh. Would you do something special Here on we your go. wedding night? Huh. That's a silly question there, Eddie. Well, I don't know if it's well, silly. I, I mean... know myself, and I know I'm going to be around a ton of friends, and there's probably going to be a lot of no. drinking going on. With you? And I'm going to yeah. want to keep the party going. <laughs> yeah. And I know Robert will want to keep the party going. And so I don't understand. Back in your room or back at your house? Yeah. I mean, I feel like it'll be a, like a really raging party. And so I don't think that there would be anything that happened. I think we would both just be so fucking tired we'd pass out. And now, that's the way it would end you up. You say that, but I know Robert. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's kind of a guy who has, he's a traditionalist in, in some regards. Yeah, he's 100. Okay. <laughs> and, and halfway there. Uh, so I think in Robert's head, and I feel like I know the guy a little bit, that he th would think, well, we have to. Yes. It's our wedding night. We yeah. have to do it. Yeah. Do you agree? I agree. So if he comes to you, you're kind of blitzed. You're exhausted. Oh, so tired. Imagine the anxiety on mm. Emily's wedding day. Oh, fuck. I can't, I I can't even imagine. No. I can't even. Look at her. Look at uh, her posture You'd probably right now. find her just fetal position the whole in, time. in the corner like of the Like you got to drag her up to the aisle. Yeah. yeah, She'll, yeah. No, what, not be because she has time? anxiety, because she's passed okay, out no. from drinking. <laughs> really? And then you have to drag really? her up to the right aisle. Before, my wife, before I walk down the aisle. No, like, I'm not going to deal with the anxiety. Passed out from drinking. Come on, Thor. We Mom, know that's later in the night. Mommy needs her medicine. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. True. So 
So, uh, I forget what I was even saying. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, he comes to you. You're exhausted mentally, physically, everything, and says, babe, we got, you know, it's our wedding night. I'm yeah. really looking forward to this. You're not going to bring the heat? I think I'll just bend over and say, there you go. Just just get it over with? <laughs> like yes, you just get grab it over. It's your ankles? wedding night. What are you doing? Just do it. Not I want to go to sleep. No special outfit. No special maneuver. <sighs> But None wow. of that goodness. I feel like I'd <laughs> I'd want to possibly want that to happen. Special special outfit for sure. Spe- maybe a special song to dance to. <laughs> Do a little strip dance. Huh? You know? yeah, but the, but all all of that you thought about, <laughs> yeah. but then but that doesn't work. Execution out. wise, execution wise, it then won't happen. I'm just bending over. I'm just gonna bend over <laughs> on the bed. Get her done, dude. Wow. Come on. Ah, oh, Robert, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't bother. Oh. Hey, come on, man. Well, tomorrow is we don't have to take the uh, black light to the dress because it didn't happen. We can't. Yeah. Well, we can't. No. No. Who knows, man? With this that... dress might fall apart. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, I mean, he may have masturbated that's on it at a, that's what I was that's okay. at a later date. That's what I At a later date, but no one knows. That makes sense. Who yeah. knows what that guy's into at yeah. three a.m.? Great call. <laughs> but we get to see oh, God. if Sky's wedding dress. Oh will fit her 20 years later. I can't wait.